the smallest countries in the world. Did you know that there are such small countries that have just over 20 inhabitants? Stick around and check them out in this video. Number 10, Malta. The Republic of Malta is made up of two main islands, Malta and Gozo, located between Italy and Tunisia. It only covers a land area of 122 square miles, but its population of half a million makes it the fourth most dense country in the world. Its capital, Valletta, has several tourist attractions, such as the St. John's Co Cathedral, whose facade is simple, but the interior is a jewel of the Baroque or the imposing Basilica of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Both monuments were built when the island chain was ruled by the Knights Hospitallers, who built Fort St. Elmo to protect themselves from the Turks. As if this wasn't good enough, out of the capital, you can visit the three cities, which is how the set of three ancient fortified cities is known, Sanglia, Vittoriosa and Conspicua that remind us that this country was dominated by Byzantines, Arabs, Normans, the Spanish, British, and Knights Hospitallers. If you still haven't had enough, you can visit the medieval cities of Rabat and Medina, a city that was the film location for King's Landing in Game of Thrones. And if you want something older, you can visit the over 5,000-year-old Hal Safliani Hypogeum. Number 9. The Maldives the Maldives is an island chain located in the Indian Ocean. It's made up of 1,192 islands grouped into 26 atolls that together barely reach 120 square miles. Although they're spread over 574 miles, making them the most dispersed country in the world. Its capital is the city Mali, located on the island of the same name. The country's highest altitude is just 16 feet. It's estimated that by the year 2100, when the sea level has risen 23 inches, more than 200 islands will have to be clear. In the meantime, Maldivians use tourism and collect money to buy land in other countries. Its sea is transparent, so it's a favorite destination for people who want to dive with stingrays, whales, sharks, and all kinds of fish. You can visit Huva Hendu Island or Coco Island, famous for its fine white sand and its five-star resorts. Number 8. St. Kitts and Nevis This small Caribbean country is mainly made up of two islands, St. Kitts, the largest, and Nevis, the smallest. This country has a land area of just 101 square miles. Most of its population descends from African slaves brought in by British colonizers. If you visit this country, its beaches will draw your attention. You'll get breathtaking views from the top of Mount Liamuiga. Number 7. The Marshall Islands this country is made up of five large islands and 29 atolls that together make up 70 square miles. The government of the Marshall Islands created the largest shark sanctuary in the world, none other than 772,000 square miles of its waters. The Marshall Islands are also known for their radioactive contamination. Between 1946 and 1958, the United States, the country that ruled the island chain at the time, carried out 67 nuclear tests in the country. 44 in Enowetok Atoll, and 23 in Bikini Atoll. Yes, SpongeBob's neighborhood. In 1954, the Castle Bravo bomb detonated a 15 megaton explosion when only six were expected. Radioactive fallout ended up raining down on the surrounding islands, which hadn't been evacuated. In the following years, the inhabitants began to suffer from thyroid cancer and birth defects. Even today, Bikini Island is more radioactive than Fukushima or Chernobyl. Number 6. Liechtenstein This is a small German-speaking country that is located between Switzerland and Austria. It has a land area of just 62 square miles. It's a semi-constitutional monarchy, where the prince has broad powers such as the ability to veto laws or even dissolute parliament. The country's economy relies on the financial sector and uses its low taxes to attract companies. It depends on many things in Switzerland, so much so that it doesn't even have an airport. Still, if you want to visit it, you can go by train or car. You can explore the Gutenberg Castle, Valdu's Castle, or ski in their mountains. Number 5. San Marino San Marino is a small republic nestled in Italy, with a land area of just 24 square miles and a population of 33,000. It claims the title of the oldest state in the world. As the tradition goes, it was founded in 301 AD. At present, San Marino's income comes from its low tax rates that keep many businesses based there. 
The capital city, San Marino, is located on the slopes of Mount Titano, which is why it's divided into 12 levels according to its altitude. The walled area is at the top and can be climbed through zigzag tracks. You can visit its towers such as the Guita and the Sesta, though to be honest, the entire city is a great monument by itself. Number 4. Tuvalu Tuvalu is a small country made up of nine islands forming a total land area of just 10 square miles. Its capital is Funafuti, the largest atoll. Tuvalu is a country threatened by rising sea levels as its maximum altitude is just 16 feet. It only receives 2,000 tourists per year, making it the least visited country in the world. However, in recent years, it has experienced great economic growth. What's the reason? Its internet domain ends in .tv, which stands for television. Thanks to the sale of this domain, the country receives $5 million annually. One out of every $12 that come into the country is thanks to the domain .tv. This unexpected blessing allows the Tuvaluan government to improve infrastructure and provide its population with health and education. In 2021, the contract that Tuvalu has with Verisign, the company that markets it, concludes, and it's expected a better distribution of profits due to the fact that Twitch.tv, a platform that already has 1.5 billion hours of monthly viewing, has shown up. Number 3. Nauru Nauru is a small island in the Pacific with a land area of just 8.1 square miles. It's so small that you can walk around the island in six hours. Since it became independent in 1968, Nauru experienced a boom time thanks to the extraction of phosphate, caused by bird poop, that covered much of the island. In 1970, its GDP per capita was only lower than that of Saudi Arabia. However, the phosphate ran out and now 80% of the island is uninhabitable as they dug out everywhere. The unemployment rate is 23% and the government employs 95% of workers. Nauru has tried everything to make money, sell its vote in international organizations, and even become a tax haven. In the 1990s, it was possible to open a bank account with up to $25,000 without identification. So they'd end up harboring $70 billion in assets from the Russian mafia. Nauru is also a country of obese people. During the boom time, Naurans became obsessed with junk food, and now 94% of their population is overweight, 61% is obese, and 40% has type 2 diabetes, causing an epidemic of blindness and amputations in this poor country. Number 2. Monaco The Principality of Monaco has a land area of just 0.78 square miles. It's also the most densely populated state in the world with 19,000 inhabitants per square kilometer. Albert II, the current monarch, belongs to the Grimaldi family that has ruled this small country since 1297. In 1858, the Monte Carlo Casino opened up and attracted so many millionaires eager to gamble that the state stopped collecting taxes and the wealthy from around the world choose Monaco as their residence. Nowadays, more than 30% of its residents are millionaires. If you visit Monaco, be sure to try your luck at the Grand Casino. Visit the fortified sector of the city called L.A. Rocher, where you'll find the Cathedral of Our Lady Immaculate and the Prince's Palace of Monaco. There's also the Opera de Monte Carlo, whose luxurious interior has paintings even on the ceilings. The Oceanographic Museum with more than 450 species, and if you want to get a sugar daddy, it's mandatory to walk through La Condamine Commercial District and visit its marina full of luxury yachts. Good luck! Bonus! Let's stop here. There are also other tiny countries that haven't been recognized by anyone except for their presidents or monarchs. One of them is the Principality of Hutt River, with a land area of just 28 square miles, a state that was founded by Leonard Casey in Australia, who declared that his country estate was independent, proclaimed himself the prince, and issued his own currency. Another similar state is the 0.021 square mile Republic of Malaysia, which is located in Nevada and has its own currency. Its population consists of 21 people and 6 dogs. There's also the Principality of Sealand, which is a maritime platform located 6 miles off of the coast of the United Kingdom. It has a land area of just 0.0015 square miles and has a population of 27. It's ruled by a self-proclaimed prince regent and anyone can be an earl or baron for a few hundred pounds sterling. Number 1. The Vatican the Vatican is just 0.19 square miles, so this is the smallest state in the world. It's the heir to the Papal States, which was the country of the popes until the Italians invaded them in 1870. 
In 1929, Italy signed a treaty recognizing the authority of the Pope in that tiny territory. Among the main monuments are St. Peter's Square and St. Peter's Basilica that was designed by Michelangelo and is so tall it can house the Statue of Liberty and its pedestal underneath the dome. If you visit it, you can climb the 323 steps to the top and have incredible views. Don't forget to stop by the Vatican Museum, whose tour ends in the Sistine Chapel with the creation of Adam on the ceiling and the Last Judgment on the wall, both by Michelangelo. If you want to know more about strange countries, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Meet you in the next video.